welcome to lesson four of Learn C. Um, in this lesson, we're not going to do any more uh, another computer program. We're just going to talk about a specific thing, um, the conventions and rules for naming variables in C. So some, um, some things I'm going to describe are hard and fast rules, that is, you can't violate them. And some are just good, helpful hints uh, to keep you out of trouble, to keep you from making um, computational mistakes. The first rule is that C is case sensitive. That means that A, capital A, is not the same thing as lowercase a. Um, that's a rule. So that's one of these hard and fast rules. Um, my helpful hint is that I almost always use lowercase variables because it keeps me out of trouble. Because if I accidentally name one thing capital A and little a, I've got to remember, remind myself which one is which, and it can be kind of confusing. It's, it's just a way to keep um, from your program having errors in it at some level. Um, if you uh, end up doing software engineering and working with a company that makes software, there are all sorts of cases uh, of capitalization that, um, uh, that a lot of, that are conventions themselves. So one is called camel case. So you can Google camel case and see what it looks like. Um, so that's very, that's one very common way to use capitalization in variable names. Um, the second thing is what are the allowable characters from your keyboard? Of on, to go into a variable name. Here are the following. Here are the following allowable characters. Letters, numbers, and the underscore sign. Um, with very rare exception, those, that's, those are the hard and fast rules. There's a handful of cases where sometimes other things might uh, be um, available, but it's so rare, it's not even worth talking about. So. The, a good general rule, it's a rule and advice, is only use numbers, letters, and the underscore. The other thing is that um, letters have to be the first character of a variable name. So in this example here, um, pi 3, and setting that equal to 3.14159, that one, that's an okay statement in C. 3 pi equals 3.14159, that is not okay. That's, that would come up as an error. C would think you're trying to call it a number, 3. It's some kind of number thing, not a variable. Um, and, and even though it's an implicit in the list of allowable characters, using spaces is, a, is, a, is a, a, a not allowed in C. Um, uh, the, so, the, um, I, I'm old enough to remember when operating systems wouldn't allow, wouldn't allow you to have spaces in uh, the names of files. Um, here's an additional piece of advice is you should name all of your computer programs and all of your data files with the same convention of this variable name, uh, these rules for variable names. It's really um, a good idea to not have spaces and not have extraneous characters in your file names, like if we're going to have data files, or in your program names. It's just a good rule of thumb. Um, can, you, can you make um, data file names with spaces in them? Sure. It, depending on which operating system you're on and what you're trying to do, a lot of times it's just easier to avoid having spaces in your data file name and to use all these other conventions as well. It's just good advice. Um, the, the last piece of advice uh, for this is, it's 100% advice, which is uh, it should, um, the variable names should represent um, something about the content that they're holding. So AVG, that's kind of, that looks a little like average, right? And so uh, it makes sense that that's the case. A, B, and C don't. A, B, and C are just raw variable names, just letters. There's an old convention that I threw, I, J, K, and a couple of other letters in the middle of the alphabet were reserved for counting numbers, integers, and that the rest, and that if it started with a number, a, a letter outside of that sequence, it would be um, floating point numbers. I think you've got to be as old as me to still know what that is and use it. I, I haven't seen it much. Uh, uh, I haven't seen it much as a code for, is it a floating point number? Is it a integer number? Um, that said, you should, all of your data, all of your um, variable names, eventually we're going to get to the point where all of them have some kind of relationship with what they're holding, right? Data will be the name of a file. Data in will be the name of a file. Average, sum, these kinds of things. So that's good. It's good advice to name uh, variables with what the contents of that variable is going to hold. That's it. That's this very short lesson on naming variables. This is 
this is a clear-cut um, uh, lecture that has um, numerous, numerous potential um, test questions on it. This is the most easy to test thing and the easiest to ace thing is just to know all these rules and do them. Thank you.